Today we're making deviled eggs, but we're not gonna just make any old deviled egg recipe. We're gonna up level these deviled eggs and fry them. I'm gonna show you how to make deep fried deviled eggs. got this idea to deep fry deviled eggs from my neighbors, Tina and Ryan. So I have to give them credit. They brought these to Easter dinner and they disappeared so quickly. It was a funny story because actually everybody invited brought deviled eggs. So there was like probably 60 deviled eggs there, but theirs was the absolute best because they deep fried them. So I thought I need to make my own twist on this and make some keto deep fried deviled eggs. To start, of course, you're gonna need some hard-boiled eggs. Now you can hard-boil your own eggs, whatever method is your favorite. I prefer using the 555 method with my Instant Pot, which is where you put your eggs in on top of a trivet in your pot, add a cup of water, pressure cook it for five minutes, let it release naturally for five minutes, and then put it in an ice bath for five minutes. These eggs turn out perfectly cooked inside and they're easy to peel too but an even easier route is just to buy some pre-peeled hard-boiled eggs at your grocery store. It's more expensive, but if you're just trying to get these out and on the table and ready for your guests to enjoy, then that's the route you should probably go. We're gonna start by slicing our eggs in half. Now I'm just using six eggs, so this will make 12 deviled eggs, but you could use a dozen eggs to make 24 if you wanted and just double this entire recipe. After we've sliced them in half, we're gonna scoop out that yellow yolk and I'm gonna put it in my mini food processor. I'm using a food processor just because I'm adding some other ingredients to it, like cream cheese and some roasted red pepper. So I want everything to be completely pureed. If you wanna just like cut this up by hand or or mix it up by hand, you could do that too. It just might be a little bit more chunkier. Now that our eggs are de-yoked, let's set them aside and then we're gonna move on to that filling. So in my mini food processor, I have those egg yolks in there. I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of mayonnaise, three ounces of cream cheese that's softened, and then a quarter cup of chopped up roasted red peppers. I just use the ones that I got from the jar. If you wanna roast your own bell peppers, have at it. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. You're gonna blend this together until it's smooth, and then we're gonna set that aside and let's move on to coating our eggs and deep frying them. But before we fry up these deviled eggs, I wanna take time to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Trade Coffee. Trade Coffee makes it easy to explore the best coffee in the country. Trade will pair you with freshly roasted coffees that match your taste and deliver them right to your door. It ships straight from the roastery at peak freshness. And believe me, there was a date on the bag that said when this one was roasted, so I knew it was fresh, plus I could actually smell it through the packaging. It just like, I had to make coffee right then and there. How it works is that you take a quiz on their website. You answer questions about how you like your coffee and Trade will curate matches just for you. Choose your delivery frequency and it will appear at your doorstep delivered at the peak of freshness. After that, you just rate your selection and then repeat. Based off of your answers, Trade will either send you similar things, the same thing, or if you hated the coffee, they'll send you something else. My favorite coffee was this bag of Huck. It's from Denver, Colorado from the Huckleberry Roasters. Mm, it smelled so good. Because I love coffee so much and I know a lot of you guys do too, I had to get you a special code. Use my code KETOFOCUS50 and you'll get 50% off your first bag plus free shipping. This offer is only valid for the first 100 people that click down below in the description box. Now, of course, in order to deep fry these eggs, we're gonna coat them with a special batter. So I have three bowls. At the first bowl, I have some almond flour in here. It's about a quarter cup of almond flour. And then I have one egg that I've cracked whisked together with one tablespoon of water. And in the third bowl, we have some pork panko. This is about a half a cup of pork panko. I'll have my favorite brand listed down below for you guys. Next, we're gonna take each of our egg whites. We're gonna first dip them into the almond flour. Next, we give them a bath in that egg wash and then we dredge them with the pork panko. Mm -hmm. 
set it aside until all of your eggs are completely coated. Then once we're ready to fry, I have a skillet here. It's a large skillet filled with some avocado oil that I've heat up the oil to around medium heat. And once those ripples start to form into that oil, you know that it's just about ready. And then just working with a few at a time, or you could actually just add the whole thing if you wanted. We're gonna add in our coated egg whites and cook them about like a minute or two on each side, just until they're golden brown. Remove them and place them on a paper towel to dry. Arrange them on your egg platter. I'll have the one that I'm using listed down below in the description box. And now we fill our eggs with our roasted red pepper filling. I'm gonna be using a piping bag for this, but you can just certainly just scoop it on the eggs. Then I like to top it with some fresh parsley and now your fried deviled eggs are done. 